I would have to have everything else that I want in life before I get a Bugatti. But uh, I definitely would get a Bugatti. I think that's like the biggest flex you can get. What's good, it's your boy DDG. And today I'm playing Fan and Out. Now I'm a huge fan of luxury cars, but today I'm gonna be tested on how much I really know. I would 100% would not consider myself a car expert. To be honest, like I don't, <laughs> I couldn't tell you nothing. You know what I mean? If your car broke down right now, I can't tell you what to do. You know what I mean? I just tell you take it to the shop. But uh, you know, I feel like I'm gonna get some questions right today. Uh, you know, I'm gonna just be transparent and real with you. I don't even, I don't know nothing. I just know how to put gas in the car, how to start it, how to go in reverse. Uh, so I actually, I got three vehicles right now. I have a BMW i8 Roadster. I have a Lamborghini Urus, and I have a Rolls Royce Wraith. The one that I drive the most right now is the Lamborghini. I feel like I just like to go fast here and there. But I also just like trucks because um, it's just, I just like sitting up. I like being on, like, when I'm on the road, I like to feel taller than everybody else, you know? So I don't really like small cars like that, so I don't really drive my eye like that, but if I would say a car that I primarily drive, I would say the you know, Lamborghini years. My dream car is actually the uh, Rolls Royce Wraith, but I had it for about, mm, give or take two years. So, you know, I kind of I kind of get bored quick, unfortunately. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I don't come up with a new dream car, because it's expensive, but for now, uh, I say the rate, but I got it, so. The iconic 007 agent is famous for driving an Ashton Martin DB5. Ashton Martin DB5, I don't even know what a DB5 is, but I know that's James Bond. Here we go, easy. I'm a big James Bond fan. I had all the video games. So, I watched all the movies. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Which of the following is not a Porsche model? Uh, I would say the Evo. Yeah, I think Evo is a range or something like that. Yeah, I know that. Okay, Porsche, gotcha. What does BMW stand for? Wow, I never, I never thought about this. You know, I thought it meant Beamer or something like that. Uh, I'm gonna go with, I don't know any, I don't know what none of these other countries, I never heard of these other countries. I never heard of Brunswick and Bavaria. I never heard of those. So it's either A or B. I'm gonna go with A, Berlin. I think Germany make a lot of coffee. But bar now. When they start making cars. Okay. What Kanye West song featuring Big Sean, Pussy T, and 2 Chain raps about a two seat Lamborghini? B. Mercy. Yeah, that's my song. Lamborghini Mercy. That's my, that's my, that's my joint. Which other problem is not a Tesla? Ugh, oh, yeah, it came out with Z. I'm gonna go with Model Y, B. When did they come out with a Model Y? Wow, that's crazy. In Nicki Minaj's song only, what type of car does Drake say he riding in with Nicki during LA traffic? I'm gonna say, damn. I'm gonna say C, Ben. I should've got that right. Oh, man. Ferrari features which animal in its logo? I know this. What's wrong? Why did I think about that? I'm gonna go with B, Horse. Okay. I ain't got a Ferrari. I was scared. Which of the following brands does not have an electric luxury vehicle? Uh, I'm going to go with 
B Ferrari. In what country is Land Rover headquartered? Oh, hard one. Uh, I'm going to go with A Germany. United Kingdom, what is the United Kingdom start making cars? I, mean, I guess I feel like Germany just make a lot of cars. Can you name this car model? That is a Bentley Bentayga. Can you name this car model? Uh, I think that... I covered up the logo, huh? Okay. I see how it's going. I think that is a LaFerrari. I don't know what that is. Can you name this car? That, oh, that's a McLaren. It's a McLaren. Yeah, actually, I act, I'm actually kind of upset that I got my BMW i8 because they're around the same price. So if I would have known that, I would have gotten a McLaren up for that for sure. Can you name this car? This is a Bugatti. I would definitely buy a Bugatti. Um, I would have to be very, very, I would have to have everything else that I want in life before I get a Bugatti. But uh, I definitely would be a Bugatti. I think that's like the biggest flex you can get right now. So, right now on the road, I'm getting one. I never drove one though. And to let you in, you be the audio of the Lamborghini years. Baby. At first I thought it would be worth it. I let you in. I let you in. Yeah, that's what I do right now. That's, that's like my everyday go-to right there. Moonwalk in Calabasas, I drove my Rolls Royce Sprint. That's my baby. Needy, freaky. I like race, no Lamborghini. She off X, she sleepy, sleepy. I still have it. Yeah, I'm just switching it up. I'm, I'm uh, changing it from the black to white. I'm about to make it more, look more clean. And it's just like super duper heavenly when I'm on the road. I'm changing it all white. Lamborghini design for all powerful 2018 570S spike. That is false. The Pagani, the Pagani Zonda HP Brachetta is the world's most expensive car. True. Starlight headliners are custom brake lights on Rolls Royce. False. The starlight is the stars on the roof, on the wraith. Autobahn Motors in Singapore is the world's biggest luxury car vending machine. False. So you can just go in there and just buy a car on the vending machine. That is crazy. The Tesla Y is the only Tesla model with the half butterfly doors. False. Yeah, the Model X got the butterfly drinks. Thanks for watching. I'm DDG, and this is MTV's Fan It Out. It's nothing that I love more than luxury cars.